So if your business is in any way related to financial services and you are planning on running Facebook ads or you are already running Facebook ads, then you'll definitely want to watch this video because Facebook is making some big changes which is going to affect any business in financial services. And this includes not just typical financial businesses such as maybe financial advisors or accounting firms, but it also includes anyone that sells insurance or is promoting anything related to bank accounts. Again, as you can see, investment services and payment services. So it's actually going to be affecting a lot of different businesses. So in this video, I'm going to go through what does this change actually mean for you if you're running Facebook ads or thinking of running Facebook ads. And then I'll go through whether this change is likely going to be a good or a bad thing and how it will affect your results. So let's get started with what's actually happening here. So basically, whenever you have to select a special ad category on Facebook, if you don't already know, this is a category that you have to select before you start running any Facebook ads and what it does is it usually limits what targeting options you have. So as you can see here, uh, you'll get limited targeting options. And this typically means that you're going to be able to have limited age targeting options. So let's just say you wanted to target people over the age of 55 you won't be able to do that anymore. You have to have a wide age range. And the other thing is that it limits how many different interest targeting options are available to you. Now, as of recording this video, this change isn't mandatory, but if we go here, you'll be able to see that starting in early 2025, this category will be required for financial products and services campaigns for advertisers based in the United States or showing ads to audiences in the United States. And if you don't select this category, then your ad may be rejected. So the big question is, is this a good or a bad thing? So if you think that you can't actually target people by age or by specific types of interest, you may very well think that this is a bad thing because uh, your ads are going to be shown to people that it's not relevant to. And I can completely understand where you're coming from on that because that's exactly what it sounds like that Facebook is actually doing. However, we've already had some clients that we've been running Facebook ads for where we have selected a broad category or a broad age range and broad interest. And what we've been seeing throughout the whole year is that in general, whenever you're running Facebook ads, and this is the same, not just on Facebook ads, but any advertising platform that we, we've been testing. Uh, for example, this is the same thing that we found on TikTok ads as well. But we found whenever you're running Facebook ads, typically the broader your targeting is, the better results that you tend to get. If, and here's, here's the caveat on this, if you have the right messaging in your ads. And here's why this is so important because everything now is moving towards an algorithm-based advertising approach to Facebook ads. So what this basically means is in the past, you would want to target specific interests with specific age ranges, and you would want to really try your best to get in front of the right person by telling Facebook who you want to get in front of. But now it's completely different. And by now, I don't mean like right now this second, but I mean now as in this year and the trends that I've been seeing with running Facebook ads, now it's all based on the algorithm. So uh, this actually is potentially better for you if you know how to advertise on Facebook ads the right way. So with an algorithm-based system, you need to make sure more than ever before that you call out who exactly you want to be working with inside of your Facebook ads or inside of your landing pages that you send people to from the Facebook ads. And the reason this is so important is because you want to be able to filter out the wrong type of people and you want to make sure that only the right kind of people go into and see your ads and go into your sales funnel. So in order to do this, you need to say things in your ads that repel people that are not a good fit and attract people that are a good fit. So for example, here's a great example of an ad that is specifically calling out a specific type of audience that they want to attract. So if, for example, you wanted to attract people that have more than half a million, a million, two million, three million more in investable assets, you need to actually say this in the ad or on your opt-in page or on your landing page. And this is just if you're targeting people with a specific amount of money, but this can apply to almost anything. So no matter what kind of product that you are selling or what kind of services you provide, you need to be very specific and say in the ad what this is. And what will happen with your ads is it will attract those people. And the way it attracts those people is because the ones that see the ad and that are a good fit and like what they hear on the ad, they'll click on the ad and then convert. And the ones that are not a good fit and they see the ad and think, yes, this isn't relevant to me, and then they just skip it, 
they will ignore the ad and then Facebook is looking all the time at who's converting and then who's ignoring the ad and then the algorithm is what shows your ad to the right kind of people. And all of this is happening automatically behind the scenes. So from our initial test, what we found is that even though Facebook is saying, for example, you have to select a wide age range, because of the algorithm, they're still being shown to primarily an older demographic because usually, at least for the clients that we work with, which are lots of financial advisors and people that sell insurance, and they're usually targeting people over the age of 45 or 55, usually these are the right people or the right fit for those kinds of products and services. And even though we haven't necessarily selected that age range, Facebook's algorithm is still showing the ads to these people anyway. So even if you have a broad age range, it doesn't mean that your ad is going to be shown only to young people, for example. Your ad is going to be shown to people that Facebook thinks it's relevant for, again, based on the algorithm. So is this a bad thing? I don't think so. I know Facebook has been pushing this a lot. It's been pushing people to create broader ads and to be broader with their targeting. And they're saying that if you do this, you'll be able to get better results. And in the past, going back a good few years, when I tested running ads with broader interests and things like that, I found that you didn't get better results. But over time, I'm now seeing that this has been changing and I'm seeing that Facebook is getting better with the algorithm at showing your ad to the right people at the right time. And every time we run a Facebook ad campaign for, for different clients, we typically uh, create different ad sets that are targeting different interests. And then we have one ad set, which is algorithm based. And we just let the algorithm find the right people to target. And nearly every single time we do this, it's the algorithm based ad set that always performs best and always generates leads at a lower cost. So if you'd like to learn more about generating leads and appointments in a way that is predictable, automated, scalable, and profitable, and you'd like to do this in a way where you don't have to chase leads to get an appointment, and you'd like to get leads booking calls in your calendar because they're actually interested in working with you, then all you need to do is click the link in the description of this video to watch my free masterclass training. And that training will go through how our strategy works in more detail and also how we can help you do all of this for you if you're looking for someone to help you with your Facebook ads campaign. So overall, just to recap, I do see how choosing a special ad category can be scary if you think that it's going to limit how many people see your ad or who can see your ad uh, because now you have to be broader. But I wouldn't worry about it too much because in my experience, I've found that the algorithm, the Facebook ad algorithm does a really good job of showing your ad to the right people anyway. So even if you have to be broader with the targeting, it doesn't mean everyone is going to see your ad. At, at the end of the day, Facebook wants you to get good results with your ads. Otherwise, you're going to stop advertising with them. So they're not going to show your ad to people that the ad is not relevant to. They're going to just use the algorithm to show it to people that the ad is relevant for. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.